Hey, what's going on, everybody? My name is Agent Psycho, and we are going to get started on the, I even want to say, the 39th chapter of the Exploring the Arsenal series featuring me, Agent Psycho, aka Toho Sniper 98. You guys know the drill. And I'm just, just going to check on the uh, chapter number because I want to get, make sure that I'm getting my chapter numbers right. And yes, it is indeed the 39th chapter. So, once again, guys, this is going to be the 39th chapter on the Exploring the Arsenal series playlist featuring me, Agent Psycho, aka Toho Sniper 98. And we're going to be get started on the the RPK family, the one of the most popular machine gun families in combat arms. Um, so yeah, without further ado, let's get started. So a little bit of background information on the RPK. The RPK is a Russian uh, machine gun, and a very popular variant of it, just going off a little on, on a little tangent here, um, the, a very popular variant of it is the RPD, which has made its appearance in multiple Call of Duty ti titles, mo no, or mainly Call of Duty 4, Model 4 2, and stuff like that, yes, so. Um, the RPK itself is actually in Black Ops, so um, with, with a 30 round, or I think it has a 40 round um, clip, I think. So, yeah, anyways, um, yeah, this is the same RPK, but this time it has a 100 round drum barrel magazine, which is very, very useful, and yeah, let's get started. So going over the nitty gritty stats of the RPK, the RPK has, first of all, just kind of going over like a very general outlook on the like the overall statistics that the RPK uh, features the RPK is the most kind of well rounded I don't want to say well rounded but it's definitely one of the more um, user friendly machine guns like for example like other machine guns like the MK48 is very useful useful because even though it has very very heavy recoil the sheer its sheer damage makes up for its recoil and the M60 is also another one of those good all around machine guns as well because even though it has it has lower damage than the um, than the what is it the MK48, um, it's got very, very good recoil in terms of, like, running and gunning, so, um, yeah, the RPK is, again, one of those, uh, user, more user-friendly machine guns, in that it's not, it's necessarily, it's not necessarily more powerful than it is, but it's got a very fast rate of fire, and its recoil is very, very manageable, so, without further ado, let's get into the numerical statistics of the damage, or the statistics in general, Blech. the damage on the RPK is at a very solid 45, now, compared to the, like, the M60, and like the MK48, like the MK48 had like 51 damage, and the I think the M60 had like 49 damage, if I'm not mistaken, or 48, I can't remember, but it's, it was something somewhere along those lines. And compared to like other machine guns, like the I think the Mini Me had like 44 damage, or maybe that was in the give, and the Mini Me had like something like something a little bit lower than that, and something like that. Um, and like the K3 had 40 damage, so but you can breeze, definitely like. tell that the RPK is kind of straddling like the middle of the damage spectrum for machine guns here at 45 so it's not too powerful but it's not weak either by no means so damage is very very good and as with most other machine guns um the damage drop off for the rpk is very very good at range but then again why would you want to spray at long range with the machine gun his portability is pretty heavy at 32, so I mean all machine guns do share the fact, share their one downfall that they are all pretty heavy in some respect. So definitely the portability is not 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 the best. Rate of fire is actually very very good for a machine gun at 80. Um, so 80 is one of the higher ends of machine gun rates of fire. So definitely the RPK does fire pretty fast for a machine gun. Accuracy, you don't really need to care about this too much unless you got a scope on it, which incidentally it's other variants do. Um, at 60 accuracy, I mean it's pretty accurate, uh, definitely more accurate than like the MK M60 series, but uh, all in all, you don't really need to care about that. Its recoil is actually on the higher end of things at 73. Now, before we uh, in the, I think the K3 um, reviews, both the K3 and the K3 SBW had 73 recoil, and um, even the MK48 had like only 71 recoil. So definitely the RBK is very very heavy on the recoil, but that here's here it, it doesn't tell the entire story um the recoil spread is actually very very good especially especially for like the first five or so bullets the first five like i mentioned before your first few shots of from any weapon are your most accurate that's just natural because that's because your fire spread is very very is untouched and um I mean that kind of small uh hip fire spread no matter what gun you're using is what you're going is like it'll basically stay about the same size for like your first three, four, up to like six shots, and that's why I say your first shots will are your are your most important ones. 
because they can, you know, hit your target the first, uh, whenever you, when you want them to, or they have the most chance of hitting your targets whenever you want them to, what is my, what I meant to say. And, um, the recoil on the RPK is manageable in the fact, imaginable in the fact that the, your first five or so bullets are very, very, are very, very accurate. Um, and even if you're, even when you're running, like walking around, running around, and when your spread is like at its walking or like it's basically running speed, um, or not speed, but uh, running kind of spread size, if whatever you want to call it. Um, that's when your RPK is most accurate, and the RPK is a little bit more accurate than other machine guns in those first few shots. And that's why the RPK is, I believe, is kind of, kind of has that low recoil in, cro in quotes. Um, kind of aspect to it. However, the recoil spread can get out of hand uh, very, very quickly after the first few shots, and after the first five or six shots or so, so you may want to be careful of that and try bursting in uh, shots of like in strings of five, six, seven bullets, just so you can kind of ensure that your accuracy ma maintains like, consistent throughout whenever you try to use it, you know? So. Its recoil kickback is also very pretty low for a machine gun. It's got very little um, vertical recoil, and all it has is like like very slight horizontal recoil. In other words, you can think of it as like a flattened pancake recoil. I have no idea why I just said that, but uh, I don't know. I don't know. It's like the best analogy I can think of right off the top of my head right now. But you can think of it as like a very very small rice cake kind of uh, recoil pattern. Like it doesn't it doesn't have very much vertical recoil, but it's got a little bit of horizontal recoil to it, but it's not much either so you're going to you're going to feel like you're you're going to feel that your rpk is going to tilt a little bit from left to right left to right a little bit but it's not too much at all so that's why i don't think the recoil is should be that high in the rpk but apparently nexon thinks uh the rpk should have a 73 recoil but they can do whatever they want and I apologize for uh, speaking too fast if that's, uh, if that's what you guys don't really like about my reviews. I'm trying to work on like slowing down my speech a little bit like this, but because I have so much to say about these weapons, especially like the starting weapons, like the RPK, like the GP standard weapons. If I were to speak like slowly, then these reviews would get very, very long, and I know most of you don't really like long reviews at the same time, so it's, it's a give or take thing here, so bear with me here. The re overall recoil controllability is very easy on the RPK compared to other machine guns. That's what that's what makes the RPK just so popular amongst the combat arms, like machine gun fans of combat arms. The RPK has very very manageable recoil, and the recoil kickback itself while hit firing is no is not that bad either. In fact, it's pretty damn good for a machine gun. So there you have it. That fireability, um, you don't really need to care about that fireability, I mean, you can do it, but not with the RPK. It's other variants that that fireability does will make a little bit of sense. Um, sprint drawback, sprint drawback for the RPK is fast, a little bit faster, like slightly faster, marginally faster than other machine guns, but that's just because it's uh, sprinting animation is a little bit different than the rest, so... Moving on to the draw speed. The draw speed is a little bit faster than other people, and then, but once again, it is just because of the fact that its draw animation is a little bit faster than the rest. Or, and it's also kind of different from the rest too. Um, the center speed on the RPK is slow, as 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 it should be expected of the RPK, or as a machine gun. But as a machine gun, its rate of fire, or not rate of fire, its center speed is actually pretty fast. Because, and that's also one of the reasons why the uh, the RPK is more popular amongst the machine gun fans of combat arms. Because the RPK, especially if you notice in this junk in the next junk flea segment of this video, I don't know when it'll come up in this review, but um, it's, it'll be there. And the R you'll see that the RPK is very, very good for close ra range combat, especially in Junk Fleet One Man Army games. It is it is noticeably better than other machine guns, and the center its fast center speed for a machine gun is is one of the reasons why it it's so it's so godlike in uh, One Man Army uh, Junk Fleet uh, compared to other machine guns anyway. So yeah, <laughs> center speed is very good on the RPK in terms of like machine gun center speeds. Reload speed is it is pretty much it's pretty much faster than most other machine guns because of the fact that it's not belt fed but it, it's the drum magazine. Um, what I mean by drum, if you guys don't really know your gun terms, uh, most machine guns like the RPK 74, the K3, like pretty much all the other machine guns that we've reviewed so far um, have belt feed magazines except for the Ultimax 100. The Ultimax 100 also has a drum drum barrel magazine. The RPK uh, also has a drum barrel magazine, and this basically means that it's got some it's basically got a magazine instead of like a like a string of uh, bullets that you need to feed into your uh, 
into your ma machine gun. So basically, this speeds up the reload process a little bit faster for your character because all your character needs to do now is pop out the ma pop out the uh, the round drum barrel and pop in another one, and then cock that you cock your gun back, and you're ready to fire again. Unlike your unlike reloading like your M60, where you need to pop over the top, remove the uh, the belt feed, and put another belt feed back in, and uh, slap the top back down, and uh, yeah, all that sh all the shenanigans. Moving on to the rate re uh, or the fire modes. It is only available in one fire mode. And that's fully automatic. Moving on to its luck. Its luck is on the higher spectrum for machine guns. Uh, surprisingly enough, for the RPK and this in this and the uh, Junk Fleet One Man Army gameplay, you'll see me get quite a few uh, random lucky headshots out of the blue. So luck, luck is on the higher end of things for the RPK. And uh, you might as well go for headshots because I mean you got you got a hundred rounds. You're not gonna run out of ammo anytime soon. So it's 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 worth it going after those headshots. Moving on to the ammo capacity. This ammo capacity is standard for all machine guns at 100 rounds in the drum barrel magazine and 100 in reserve. So a huge ammo capacity there, as expected of most machine of all machine guns in combat arms. Moving on to the key physical characteristics. The RPK has the gun body of an AK-47. Like it's got its wooden barrel. It's got its wooden stock. Pretty, pretty much, it looks like an AK-47 with like a different looking, like a bar basically a 100 drum barrel magazine and an extended barrel and a four and like some sort of bipod at the end. So that's pretty much what it looks like. Moving on to the muzzle noise. The muzzle noise is a very, very loud kind of a bang, 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 bang. Uh, just kind of sped up twice, fa twice as fast. <laughs> so you're gonna bang, 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 bang. So it's very, very loud. So uh, the RPK is indeed very loud, and um, unfortunately, as with most of the machine guns, uh, all the machine guns are more like you can't really attach a silencer to it. So uh, do be careful if you're playing on like bigger maps and where like kind of like being. Being sneaky will kind of help you out a bit, as people will notice. We'll definitely hear you uh, firing off your uh, RPK. Moving on to the attachment options. The attachment options for the RPK, as usual, you can only attach magazine modifications to it. So once again, if you guys have forgotten, um, the XMAG 1 on the RPK gives you plus 25 bullets. The XMAG 2 on your RPK gives you uh, plus 50 bullets, as with most uh, machine guns. As for the fast loader mag, I'm pretty sure it decreases your uh, your um, belt, your starting ammunition to down to 80. So yeah. Base, but all in all, you don't really need any attachment of any kind on the RPK because, I mean, the only thing you can do is put on a magazine modification, but I, I honestly think the oh, the 100 rounds in your drum barrel magazine is enough <laughs> to take anyone out, so, to be honest, so, anyways, that's it for the uh, attachment options. As for whether or not it's fire team worthy, um... Yes, definitely it's fire team worthy, especially for the zombie ones, because any machine gun is definitely fire team worthy. And for quarantine, yes, it would be, depending on how you play. If you're not a free runner, you just you would prefer just to um, hold this, like camp in one place and hold down a position. And definitely the RPK is definitely for you, because not only it does it have a very fast rate of fire for a machine gun, but also it has that fast reload speed, so you can definitely reload it faster uh, when you got zombies trying to <laughs> run at you while you're in the office. Moving on to, I believe that, I don't think the RPK, or the RPK is able to be customized, I don't think. I'm pretty sure it's not able to, because I know the for a fact that the RPK S mod, the GP rare variant of the RPK, is able to be customized, but I don't think the RPK itself is able to customize, so whatever. Um, moving on to my frank personal opinions, the RPK is definitely a very good machine gun, like an overall machine gun. Definitely, the RPK is, uh, for one, my go-to machine gun, uh, my go-to, like, GP standard uh, go-to machine gun, other than the MK48, um, because just, uh, just for the sheer fact that it's just very good, it feels good to use, um, it's, it's very, very... It's very, very user friendly. I won't, I'm, I'm not saying noob friendly because not any noob can just pick up a machine gun and pick up an RPK and just go around raping, people, raping face with it. But it's definitely user friendly. If if you know your way around machine guns or if you know how to use weapons in general, then the RPK is it should be one of your uh, your better handling machine guns. Um, if it's not, then I'm kind of I'm gonna kind of look at you funny. But um, anyways, it's just that the RPK is it's it's. 
it's bundle of statistics and its overall performance and feel just very just catered to a very very good uh, role in combat arms M more so than other machine guns like the K3 is like well it's, you can't really kill people with it because its damage is too low I, and I mean even though it doesn't have a very fast rate of fire that's not what's gonna win you battles if you don't have the damage to uh, make up for it, or if you don't have the damage to supplement it so yeah the RBK is definitely one of your should be one of your go-to machine guns I think that most uh, most of you guys can agree with me on that if you don't then oh well that's that's i guess your opinion but anyways guys thanks for watching this will conclude my review on the rpk machine gun in the next episode we're going to be covering the gp rare variant of the rpk family the rpks mod and it's quite the machine gun thanks for watching guys and i'll see you guys later